Well, good morning. Um, I'm back again, and I'm going to take the gel, the alcohol-free gel, and lay down my edges. Just going over with the gel, and the gel, um, it's just laying them down. I'm using a, a gel with a eight hole, so it's not really a firm hole. And it's black gel by Eco or Echo or whatever. And I'm just laying my edges down. I called myself plait my hair up last night. That's why I look like it look. You don't see any curls. And plaiting it up this morning, this is what the top looked like. Trying to, uh, I thought about some kind of protective styling, which I don't really, I'm not really into that. And this is the side from playing it. If you see any curls, you know, only the way I didn't plait that piece, I left the back a loose. And here's a plait that I'm gonna take a loose on camera. But the part in the back, I left like it was. I didn't, I didn't plait it. You know, sometimes I just test stuff out just to see how the hair reacts to it. I don't do it to all the hair. Plus, my front don't don't do much. You see that? For its curls and waves, and even when I plaid it, this is what I come up with. So since I've been doing the curly girl method, this has gotten like straight. And I'm going to take this loose over here. This is my mm, curliest part on my sides. I'll show you what that looks like. Now that's what it looks like. Like, you know, when your hair ain't combed. So you just can't leave it like that. You can run your fingers through it. To try to separate them. And then this is what you got. Let me show you what what I got after that. I got some hair that looked like I took the braids out and the hair need combing. So what everybody do ain't for everybody, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna go on, lay some of this uh alcohol free gel on it and show y'all the difference of me trying to plait my hair and make some waves and me just throwing some gel on it and making some waves and why I choose to do what I do mm -hmm. protecting styling and taking it loose and running with whatever you take a loose that don't work for me so. That worked for the other fella. And look how, how it made my hair look longer too. It laid it down. Showed the length of it. In its curly state. The length in its curly state. Cause you see how that one hanging and swinging, but it goes down and down. But shoot, it ain't dang in there hanging, almost there in it.
putting gel on dry hair. Getting to the bottom of the container with the black gel. Soon I'll be finished with that and then I'll start on the white gel. And once I finish the white gel, I'm going back to my green olive oil gel. So I do like that the best. But you see how my curls looking? They still look good. Actually, actually doing a good job, in it? But if I got to buy it and pick up one when I go in the store, that's the one I'll pick up. It's the green. If I have to choose one. Been so long since I used it. I forgot I had my hair react to it. Mm. But I, re I remember, I remember uh, the, the feeling was it's the best gel in the world. <laughs> But I hadn't used it in a while. Because like I say, I try to use up the entirety of a product so I'll have a good understanding on what that product do for my hair. And if I'm in a pinch, if I have to use another brand, I know what, what works for me. And as you can see, the black gel does work for me. See what I do with that straight top? If you can look at me, you can see what my future is going to be when it comes to this hair. It's just going to lay down. And then all this is going to be curls coming down like this. But that top is going to lay down. The top is going to lay down like that. And then this is going to come down like this. That's what my deal is going to be once it grows even longer. Right now, that's just shaking right there. That's the first time I've had one to just fall out and shake like that. You know, without me shaking my head, that it's just shaking on its own when I move. Look. Move just like my earrings move. I was thinking about putting some eyelashes on, but I said I wasn't going to do it because they, they had... At least I pull my eyelashes out by putting the glue too close to my real eyelashes. And when I took them off, I pulled them off. And so I was going to see about regrowing my eyelashes. I need to go when I go out get me some mascara. Because my eyelashes used to look good with just mascara. Yeah. You know, you put it on three or four times, and then you hear it start looking dark, and then they start looking long. Cause people have asked me, were my real eyelashes false eyelashes before? I don't even know why I start wearing them things. To tell you the truth, but I still, I still wear them. I still got some more. I'm just um, then bagged up off for them for a little while. I was so sure thinking about doing it this morning though, but I didn't. Like I said, I just bagged off it for a little while. I won't make it no everyday thing. Maybe a special occasion thing, you know. Like I 
say I didn't know I don't know how to put it on people don't tell you exactly they say put it at your lash line but see that to me when I put it at my lash line the glue touch my lashes and just like it's sealing that um fake lash on it's sealing my real lashes to that fake lash because my lashes ain't really short they was kind of long on their own yeah I guess girl look at that hair look at her you know it's time for me to dye my hair but it's touching my neck the wet gel, <coughs> excuse me, the wet gel touching my neck. Look at him. It's growing. I know it's growing because it's time for me to dye my hair again. Look at him. I guess because it ain't a wash and go, it's just me redefining my curls. It don't have a whole lot of shrinkage. Well, just a redefinition of curls. I'm going to turn and let you get a good look at this. I keep wi I'm wiping my hands on a little washcloth that I got on my l lap. That's what I'm. What that's what I keep doing. Yeah. I'm gonna turn and let you look. Alrighty then, I'm going to get off this. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.